how do you stop procrastination? Now, I know I made a video before on are you procrastinating, procrastinating or just being lazy? And now procrastination is almost like a little thing of its own because if your environment is not set up correctly, you can be easily push away from the task you were set to do or you had in mind to do and nowadays we're all distracted with technology we're all distracted with with our notifications with social media so it is sadly normal nowadays for you to procrastinate and get distracted now an easy 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 way to help out procrastination and for you to become more consistent and start doing more things and taking action is literally to make a schedule literally write down what you're going to do on every single hour even minute of the day now the reason why a schedule is so effective is because during this time period of the time that you're at right now say the time you're watching this video if you had a timetable you would literally go to the timetable and you would see, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing literally right now. So when you make this timetable, you put in that mind, you put in that that willpower to make the timetable. So then later on, you don't have to make the decision to do something because you already had it planned out. Now, this will help you save brain power and save your focus and energy for the real task at hand, the real thing that you need to do and get done so that whatever skill it is, whatever task it is, how big it is, you will be able to have more focus, more deep focus and put out more effort to say and make it more high quality of work. Now, when you write out your day on how your day is going to go, you want to go on, you want to think about your most productive day literally just write it all down now we all know life gets in the way you won't be able to complete all of it most if not all of the time but you want to aim to getting at least 70 to 80 percent done at least now with that being said you always want to strive to get it all done always for writing down your schedule for what you're supposed to do every single day for the, your productivity so you already know what you're gonna do. Well, mine on, a, mine on a daily basis, I have it down right here and I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But there's also another thing that I wanna add. There's a lot of things that come into play when you wake up, when you sleep of your circadian rhythm. Now that's like a 24 hour clock that we all have. And I learned this from this neuroscientist called Andrew Huberman. You guys probably already know about him, and if you don't, you should check him out. He's very informational. And what the circadian rhythm is, it's basically an internal clock of when we would wake up and we would go to sleep. And now that varies person to person because some people are genetically night owls and some people wake up early. Like me personally, I wake up early. I'll get sleepy around 7 p.m. And then I'll my body will naturally wake up around 5 5 a.m., 3 a.m., sometimes 7 a.m. It, it depends, but I relatively wake up really early. Now, you need to think about that as well. And there's a lot of things that you can do to help and maximize your sleep. But without further ado, this is, this is how my day goes very normally. I'll wake up, do my morning routine, which would be I'll have breakfast, eat, have coffee, and then I'll do some editing in the morning because... I like to get, I like to be creative in the morning. Like my mind is just fresh and just get the ideas out there. And then getting ready for the day, that includes like showering and getting ready for school because yes, I'm still in high school. So that's very tough to work around. And then after school, I'll do video and recording for YouTube, of course, cause you guys are watching this. And then I'll have a meal. Now, when uh, the time that I have a meal will be in school as well at 11 a.m. And then my next one, my next meal would be 4 p.m. So that's not very good. I should honestly be eating more, especially since I want to bulk. And then after the meal, I'll do what I want. And now this is not just doing what I want. As you see, I have notes of things to do. It says read, meditate, journal, run, walk, be outside, hang with family. Whatever it is I want to do, watch videos, chill and relax. Now with the watch videos and chill and relax, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're going to be just watching Netflix and watching YouTube on whatever you want or playing video games. That doesn't mean that. When I put watch videos or do what I want, 
the type of videos that you should be watching are informational content so that you can consume this sort of content and it'll be something that you're thinking about and you can synthesize it and implement it into your life. So that's why I have watched videos in Show and Relax. And the type of videos I usually always do watch is informational as well as with reading. And then after doing what I want in the habits, I have exercise. Now, optimally, like to optimize fully, it would be better if I exercise in the morning. It would be better for like everybody because it would get your metabolism running. It would spike cortisol in the morning, which is good for you because it'll make you. Now, as you guys know, when I wake up in the morning, that's my time for editing because I would edit. And if I didn't have school, that time around nine would be when I would be working out. But you know, I have school, so I have to do that. And then after exercising from this time period, I will do homework and then I'll shower, homework or shower. But of course, I'm going to shower either way. Well, I already showered in the morning, but still, I exercise. And then bedtime is around 9 p.m. The bedtime would be around 9 p.m., the latest. Now, it can be a little flexible. Like, I could sleep earlier than that, or I could sleep a little later than that. But that's generally when I want to go to sleep. Now, this schedule that I have is very, very flexible. Like, say, today that I'm sick and I didn't go to school, it's 9 um 9 a.m currently and i'm editing and recording right here little snippet so honestly like you when you have time and to sneak things in for more work or just something more better to do it of course naturally you guys have that common sense to do the plug and play and if i sound congested i'm sorry um it's not been a good month so far april i've been sick all through April and it's been affecting my uploads so sorry about that guys but stay tuned there will there will always be more content always and yeah that's my example of my personal schedule or daily routine um things I'm set to do certain tasks throughout the day so that I'm not just wondering like what am I supposed to do so hopefully that helped you guys out and yes it could be more specific with the habits and whatnot but if you have that idea and when you have the habits down the things that you're going to do you don't have to think about it you just see what you wrote down see what you did see the time span you have to do these things and then you just start doing them it's better than not knowing what you're going to do next now like i said earlier about your environment it's very very important to set up your environment for you to do your task and your habits that you want to do now in certain situations, are you going to be able to have the certain environment that you want? Depending on your point in life and who you live with or where you live with, it will either be yes or no. Now, for me, can I have my environment how I want it? Not really. Not really. Can I, like, manipulate it or, like, figure out, figure out ways for it to be better for me? Definitely. I most definitely can. But is it hard still? Yup. What I do to get the most done, the most productive done part of my day is in the morning before everybody wakes up, before anybody even wakes up because when everybody is awake, it's very distracting and annoying because the TV will be on, my little siblings will be crying or fighting, and my older brother will be making a lot of noise on the other side of the room. So you kind of need to work your schedule around other people, sadly, if that is your position, and it is for me. But, you know, we just, we got to make it work somehow. If you guys found that video helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, turn on your notifications for the next video that comes out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.